Hey guys, Mr. Pointer here, and I'm in my kitchen at the Pointer house. You're probably watching this video because you're doing a project on Stomp in your elementary music class, or maybe you're watching it because you have nothing better to do than waste your time on a Friday night watching pointless YouTube videos. Hmm. Anyways, whatever the case, I hope you have fun watching this, and I also hope you learn something too. So by now you should be in a group with a couple of your pals, so there's three of you and you're ready to create some funky rhythms to impress your teacher and the rest of your class. Before you actually write your rhythms and start practicing though, there are three things that you need to always keep in mind for this project. Number one. You need to feel the beat and you need to stick to the beat. If you start speeding up or slowing down, when you're playing your rhythm, things are gonna start falling apart, okay? So in your group, you need to feel the beat and stick to the beat. Number two, you need to keep it simple. This isn't rocket surgery here, so all you need to use is taws and tts and maybe a rest. Often the coolest sounding songs are the simplest and you're gonna have an easier time locking together as a group if you keep it simple. And finally, number three, you need to make sure that your rhythms actually sound good together. Some rhythms sound great when you play them alone, but they don't sound so good when you play them at the same time as your friend's rhythm. Try different rhythms out to see if they actually sound good and work together before you decide you're going to use them. Okay, so the first rhythm I'm going to do is a very simple ta, 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 ta. You'll see it at the bottom of the screen. I'm using a Rubbermaid container, and I'm just going to hit it. Here's how the rhythm sounds. And you'll notice I've taken the rhythm, and I'm just playing it over and over. Ta, 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 ta. This rhythm is going to be the backbone of my whole performance. Okay, so my second rhythm instrument is an old peanut butter jar and I have it filled with beans. Don't ask me why I have an old peanut butter jar filled with beans. I just do. The rhythm I'm going to play with this is simple, just like the first one, but it's a little bit different. The rhythm I'm going to play is T T T T T T T T. And again, look at the bottom of the screen so you can see how it looks. Here's how it sounds. And again, I'm just repeating it. T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T. Easy. The third instrument I'm going to play is a wine glass with a chopstick. The rhythm I'm going to do is ta ta t t ta. Here's how it sounds. Simple. Now for the fun part. We're gonna put it all together and see how it sounds. <laughs> 